Well, these are pictures of Walnut Street Baptist Church. Remember that they uh, used to be in the old church? That's Mr. and Mrs. Morlock. This uh, woman right here in the pink dress is a short member. She's a girl Florida. And uh, that's Lionel Johnson. He's off now preaching at the church of Ron Errol Williams. Of course, Errol's no longer with us. Morris Corbin, he's no longer with us either. A lot of these people are passed on. That's the Roy Crumpton talking to boys. That's Mr. Mitchell. There's Harvey Bruton. These pictures were made many, many years ago. That's Ms. Adams and Ms. King, I believe. And, of course, that's Alton Moore. They're no longer with us. Heidi Bruton's no longer with us. Peggy Johnson, of course, uh, Peggy was a member down there for a long time. That was James Planter. Here's Jack Mitchell and uh, Opal. And this is inside of our Sunday school class that uh, was mostly filled with women at that time. There's Ashton Smith listing with us. One of the little uh, Southern girls. Ms. Daly, of course Ms. Daly is no longer with us. I believe she was uh, referred under the class at that time. And there's uh, David Moore's wife and her little baby. Uh, Leela Doty, she's no longer with us either. And Becky Keefiel and David Moore. Becky's going to sing a song for us here in our Sunday school class with uh, a little solid girl at the piano. Then after the class was over, they all filed out uh, to go around and go into the auditorium for the preaching service. I believe this was on there, uh, at a homecoming, and Brother Crawford was going to preach for us, I believe. There goes Alton Smith and David Moore. David wants to play a little. They are really proud of that little baby. Now there's Charles and Becky Keefiel after the service is over at Sunday school and Brother Crawford and Alton Moore talking. That's Peggy and Johnson and her little girl. Of course her little girl is grown, married now and has children of her own. And uh, that's one of the Crawford boys. Now this is inside the church. We have a big crowd there. We always have good attendance and on a special day we had to bring chairs in. There goes Mr. Tolder. He was a long time member of our church. And uh, here at King's Carroll, there's Will Williams, uh, Roy Crumpton, and Kenneth Murphy, the burnt ushers for that day. Then they're coming out, uh, they're coming in to the choir. There's Brother Crawford, he's going to preach. He's uh, getting Ready and of course uh, that's uh, Doug Minkfield and Gary that I mean ago. This is Blondell Woodard. He's gone now. He's no longer with us. He was Sunday school superintendent at that time. That's where he takes up the birthday offering. And I can't tell that girl's name, but Brother Crawford is uh, making a few remarks before he starts preaching. The church is beginning to fill up real good. And that's, I believe that's Gary getting ready to leave the scene, if I'm not mistaken. Some of these uh, pictures are real old and it's kind of hard to uh, get the names right every time. That's Bert Corden. A lot of you people don't remember him, but he was a long time member down there and it's a few teacher. And of course he's gone now. That was that little Arnold boy. And there's Mr. Odom. He was a long time member. Mr. Odom and Brother Crawford there talking. I believe that was Brother Crawford. And that's Mr. McClure. There's uh, Bill Johnson and Joe Johnson. A little cheap girl. Yeah, that's Brother Crawford. Uh, shaking hands with Mr. Tripley, then, uh, of course, Mr. Tripley is still with us. He's getting real old now, but he's still with us. And, uh, 
There's Mr. Clue again. I believe that was him. And that's uh, Leela Doty. There's Robert Bruton. And some of these I don't uh, get their names real quick because they come by and they don't special, I think. And there's one of the little seven girls over right there. And that was Lucille Hill. There's Audie Bruton. And there's Miss Crawford. Where the Crawford was. Where the Crawford was our pastor back in those days. And of course, this is the time here. We're home to very uh, uh, Ovila Hunt just passed by. There's Charles, he wants to play a little bit, Charles Kikel. And Ronnie Loveless and his wife. And Becky Kikel again, of course, uh, this was a long time ago. There's Leslie Hunt. And Miss Crawford again. And there's Mr. Williams. And he has a black guy there, and he told me what color that, and I forgot what he said. And I believe, oh, there's Ms. Reagan. Ms. Reagan was a long time ago. And there's Beth McClure. She was uh, a long time member down there, too. That goes to the Crawford boys, I believe it was. And there's Mr. and Ms. Foster. They're uh, leaving that service to get in their car and go home. Of course, there's Ms. Reagan again. She was a Sunday school teacher and a long time member down there. Of course, she's gone now, too. And uh, that's Catherine Page and Ms. Wallace. I asked them to uh, let me take their picture. Of course, they stopped over there and they let me take it. And uh, in this day and age, of course, like I say, these people, most of them are gone. Now, there's Lucia Lance. She's no longer with us. There's uh, Pat uh, Flannery, and uh, there's uh, uh, Ms. Murphy, and here's Peggy Johnson again with her little girl. And this is Kenneth Murphy. He's coming on down there pretty good. Uh, that was when he was young. That, this is Mr. and Ms. Arnold, Bob Arnold and his wife. And both of them are gone now. They're the new ones coming all the way up. And Miss Crawford's no longer here. She's gone too. And there's a page, one of the, uh, Miss Page and her daughter, I believe it was. And Bill Johnson and Joe, they were members down there for a long, long time. Now there's Brother Crawford and Bill Johnson. He likes to tell uh, about his big hunger. Expeditions and uh, fishing. He was a big fisherman and a hunter. And the Alcimo War, the New Daily. There's Mr. Teakell now, and Charles and Miss Teakell. They uh, went to our church down there too, of course. There's uh, old Miss Teakell no longer here. There's Ronnie Lovelace again. And uh, that's uh, their little girl. And she was a little giddy. Brother Triplett, when he was a lot younger, and like I said, he's still with us, but he's getting pretty old now. There's Earl Williams. Earl Williams is no longer with us. There's Bert Corden. He's no longer with us. And then there's Ruth uh, Smith, Ruth Murphy, I believe. And uh, Miss Smith. And that's uh, Miss Tripley. And I can't call these names real off, but that's Dope Peekskill and that little girl that he went with back in those days. And there's uh, Lowell Johnson, Joe Johnson's uh, youngest son. And I believe that's Miss Cup. I'm not sure. It might be Miss Stokes. There's a boy they call Squeezy. He was Lucille Lance's adopted son. Of course, he's no longer with us. And that's Miss Murphy. And I can't call the names of these right here right off. But here's after one of the preaching services was over with and uh, everybody came out and getting ready. That's Miss uh, Lance. Brother Lance was 
16 treasury of our church and that was his wife getting ready to go home. But there's Morris Smith right there on the rack. And uh, some of the other boys. And I believe that's Martha and Ruth right there. These uh, pictures are real old and it's kind of hard to uh, they're not real plain. They're almost worn out. In other words, they're kind of like me. They're now these are some pictures inside our Sunday school room. Just before the time to go into the auditorium, the great teacher. He has big Sunday school players then. Of course, we still have a big sense to take care of our There's one of the so southern girls. And this is inside the old farm. And it was decorated with flowers. This must be, I don't remember what year, but I think it's one of the years that we had a homecoming. There's Brother Crawford and Brother Liley. And here's the choir coming into the or torn to be seated. We had a good choir back in those days. We still have a good choir. We had a lot of good singers, a lot of young uh, kids that uh, were learning how to sing. A lot of adults in that choir. There's Brother Crawford and Brother Lighty. Brother Crawford be ready, getting ready in a minute to bring the message. There's a Gary Kinkstead and uh, Carlos Hunt of Kiana. And Gary is leading singing like he has for years and years. He's still with us and he's still in singing for the Lord now. There's a brother Nelson and a There's a lot of these people that uh, are not here any longer, but on the phone. There's Fred Lewis. He's still with us. He was some speaker to him, I believe, at that time. And he's still in our Sunday school class and in the building. Now this is another time when we had a uh, little potluck supper in our Sunday school class. I believe it was at the end of the church year when we uh, had our year report there. So Roy Thompson and Edna and Martha. Roy was kind of missed the ceremony. He was getting frozen all the way to go. Here is Blondell and Tommy coming in to uh, bring their uh, food in and Martha's going out the door. She's going to try to of water some sugar. Go in the coffee. That's a fat friendly, I believe. And uh, that's of course for Will and Edmund and James Flannery. And there's some uh, coffee boys and brown boys looking in around the corner. Here comes Joe. I mean, Bill Johnson and uh, Brother Henry and Brother Crawford and Joe Johnson. Brother Henry was Cross Kenneth's pastor at, uh, well, he was pastor at the Second City Baptist Church in Cross County, I believe that it was. There's Ruby Lewis, she looks like she always has. Miss Crawford coming in with some cream or some sugar for the coffee. I told her to go ahead and come in right, so she did. There's a little trophy kind of acting it up, and of course there's Joe and Bill Johnson. Not Joe, but mine is playing that Phil Johnson. And here is Delcy uh, and Tiny Ingram, neither one of them any longer with us. Here's some of the Crawford boys, some of the Brown boys, and some of the Johnson boys. They're having a little fun looking at pictures. They like to have a good time. Beatty and Birdwood Taylor, they're still with us in our Sunday school class. They've been for years and years. And of course, everybody's up their plate here now to conclude. We're going to get seated and eat, and then we'll have uh, a little program after we eat, and we'll have some singing. There's uh, Miss Crubble getting her plate ready. There's uh, Roy with his plate. And Elsie and Tiny come in to be seated. And there's Tommy and Blondell, just picked them. Here's Lowell Johnson. Here's one of the brown boys, Brookie Bond playing football. 
There's another one of the brown boys. Here's one of the Crawford boys. And here's another one of the Crawford boys. Lonnie Johnson is helping his plate uh, and he's going to sit down and get ready to eat. And there's Ruth Lewis, there's Debbie Crumpton. And there's a whole table full of good food. Everybody had a good time, we always did. There's uh, uh, Burwell Taylor again, and there's Martha. She's got two plates. She said one of them was for me, and that would be that would be right there. Billy is getting ready to be seated. Burwell, he's got his plate ready. And then there again is this table full of good food. Everybody is seated now. And as soon as we get through eating, we're going to have a little program, have some singing, like I said. And it's going to be a very distinguished visitor with us in a little while. I'll introduce him to you in a minute. There's Jack and Opal uh, Mitchell. And uh, of course, there's uh, Roy Crumpton getting her thing on that. And Jack now used to sing a lot. He was a good singer and he liked to sing. So he sang a song with all of these fans. Which here's a little quartet of the Browns and the Crawfords and the Thompsons. And they were good and they uh, offered to sing a little special song. Miss Crawford at the piano. Now Miss Crawford used to play the piano very well. Brother Crawford played the piano too. He was a good piano player and a good singer. And this coffee is a good singer. Now Roy is telling us uh, what we're going to have next. Right there in front is Tiny Ingram. You can see his head sticking up. Blondell on the left and Brother Crawford and uh, Lowell and Lonnie singing special for us. Like I said, Brother Crawford was a good piano player, a good singer, and he loved to do it. After the singing is over with and uh, after the eating is over with, well, we have a special guest. But, uh, we'll see him just a minute. You don't know who he is. He's a great football player. Brother hit it now, bringing the devotional. Like we said, he was the pastor of uh, Second Avenue Baptist Church in Fort County. And we invited him over to uh, bring the devotional for us. He brought a good devotional. He was a good preacher. I think he's retired. I'm not sure what he is, if he still is now or not. I suppose he is. We brought a good devotional that night. We had a good turnout. And now, Tommy Woodridge, she was secretary of class at that time, and she's bringing the yearly report. A real good report. We had a good report in the year. And then uh, Miss Crawford, I believe, was getting ready to sing a special for us. Joe Johnson sang a special for us. I believe Joe Johnson was welcoming the visitors at that time. But she did sing a special for us. Then Miss Crawford uh, is getting ready, I believe, for this distinguished visitor that I told you about. Well, it'll be after Lowell and Lonnie get through singing. Lowell and Lonnie had an idea they wanted to be musicians, and of course they were pretty good at it. But uh, the Lord told Ronnie to preach, and uh, he has been preaching ever since. He has a church up around Dallas someplace. They were good singers, and uh, both could pick the guitar. And they enjoyed it a lot. We enjoyed hearing them. Then here, Miss Crawford is getting stage ready for our distinguished sister. And uh, I don't know if I told you or not, but it's... Uh, uh, his name is Joe Namath. You remember him as being a great quarterback back in the old days. He was uh, with the New York Jets, I believe. There he is. Uh, he's all dressed up in his uniform and he has a football with him. His 
got to throw his pants up. He had a little trouble keeping his pants up. But uh, he, he did all right. He's uh, telling me now he's got to throw his pants up again. Uh, he was a wonderful football player, quarterback. And uh, he could pass and he could run and he could uh, uh, lead the team. And uh, they did. They were champions uh, quite a few years ago. So uh, now he's being interviewed by Mike Crawford. And of course, uh, Brother Joe Mamus is telling him all about his career and telling him how to play football and what to do with the ball. He's going to show him how to hold the ball to pass it. Of he's not going to pass now. He's not going to, uh, he's going to show us how to kick a field goal. That was his main purpose in here. He, he could kick field goal and he could do uh, a lot of things. He's getting his uh, feet ready there. He's going to give him the ball in a minute. And he's going to kick uh, a field goal. First, though, he's got to have a drink of water. Well, now, uh, he's having a little trouble there. Can't find his mouth. Now he found it. Yeah, now he's got, he's got that settled. So they're going to give him the ball back now, and he's going to show you how to hold it, what to do with it, exactly how to place it where you take the foot, field goal. So, he's getting ready to do it now. He's going to, not going to pass it, he's going to show you how to pass it. But he's not going to pass it, he's going to kick it with his foot. He is temporary again. And uh, not quite yet. He's going to have his feet just right. Not going to kick it yet, just a minute. He'll kick it in a minute. Now he's ready. Oh, oh, there's the fence. Okay, here he goes. Kick the field goal. I knew he was good. Now he's got to get his helmet off. Seems like it's kind of hung on. I think it's hung on his ears. He's having a little trouble with it anyway. He can't seem to get it off. I believe uh, it is hung on his ears. Uh, he can't get it off. Well, Mike's going to get it off. Well, Mike's pulling off. It has a ton on his nose. That's what it was. Tongue on his nose. Okay, get to straighten his hair out. He had a good head of hair. Oh, Joe's a good looking guy, too. So, uh, after this is all over with now, why well, he's telling how much he enjoyed being here. And he's waving goodbye to us, and uh, he hopes to see us again. So, if we enjoy having with us. Okay, then Roy got the program all sorted up again, ready to go. Then uh, this is where we had uh, the group to sing. I uh, believe Miss Crawford was playing the piano. And then uh, Joe Johnson brought uh, a special, I believe, and uh, And then uh, we sang some more songs, and uh, Mr. Crowley played the piano again. And Joe is leading the singing there now. Now there's the whole group, and of course this is that fair thing to go with. We uh, all filed out and getting ready to go home. And but that thing at the table first. Joe Johnson is helping with cleaning up the tables and uh, we're putting away the leftovers. There's uh, Tommy and uh, Pat Flannery and Amy Thompson and all. Martha just took got her leftovers and she's come home with them to put them away. This is where we live. She's coming into our house. There's our little puppy dog, Kelly Sue. She was with us for years and years. We have another one now. Uh, but uh, Kelly Sue was with us for a long, long time, about 16 years. Then I came in with my stuff, and the first thing I had to do was sit down and pet my little puppy dog, Kelly Sue. She always waited for me. She was always there, uh, wagging her tail. And uh, I had to stop and uh, play with her. Now this, these pictures right here got in there kind of by mistake because this was after we had moved over to our new building across town. And this is when we broke Paul Lawrence with our taxes. 
But I left these pictures in here anyway. That's uh, because I wanted to see them. I thought they said, there's Martha getting ready for Sunday school. And uh, I don't remember that woman's name. I believe this is Rule and Edna Williams. And uh, there's some more coming in. Uh, uh, I'm not sure who they were. It's hard for me to recognize everybody that goes by kind of fast. Here's Lanny Neal and uh, his family, his uh, boy and girl and his wife. He was our Sunday school teacher at that time. And this is a charter member of our class right here. Now that's Edna Pumpkin, and uh, of course she's coming into Sunday school with, with Tommy. There's Tommy Woolridge. And here's Eva Mae Sullings. Kids. I know them, but I can't remember their names. This is uh, Jane War, I believe, coming in from school. All of these, most of these, some of them were not in that place, but most of these, that's Pat Planner and her daughter, they were in, uh, she was in her son's school place. And there's two of the little southern girls, I believe, Brenda and one of the others, and then, uh, I don't remember his name. Here's Virgil Taylor and Beatty. They're still in our Sunday school class. They've been for years and years. And they're coming in now to Sunday school. And that's Modine. And here's uh, Beth McClure again, getting out of the car and coming in. She wasn't in our Sunday school class, but she was a long time member of our church. And there's Earl Moore. He was a long time member. Beth McClure was uh, with us for years and years. Here's uh, Andy Rogers and Marie Rogers. They're in our son school in class. And this is Edgar Fox. She's in our son school class. Then uh, after Sunday school was over, you can see what a big class we had. After Sunday school was over, I had an old file out in the front door there where I could get a picture of all of them as they came out to go around and go in the front door into the old corner for the preaching service. There's more something. There's a room in the lake. There's the place. It's a big place and a nice place. It's an adult place, of course. A lot of older people in there that were in there then, and there are still a lot of them that are still there in our place. Martha and uh, Beth, they're getting ready to show these very same pictures that I'm showing right now. To the church members there, Beth, she was uh, kind of getting all this together uh, so that we could uh, show one group of people at a time uh, these pictures. There's uh, Mr. Stafford, and uh, there's Elsie, and there's uh, Lanny Neal, and there's uh, uh, Lexi. Now, here's, here's Brother Owen. Uh, one of the few pictures we have of Brother Owen. He was I passed at that time, there it is. Getting this sheet of there, see these old kind of pictures. Girl and Edna Lee and Tommy and uh, I believe that was the Chilly Pink Scale. There's Beth again, she kind of got uh, everything organized for us. She was a big help. Beth's been a good friend. Zeta May and R.D. And uh, some of these others I know them just as well as anything, and I can't call their names. Uh, James Graham, uh, James used to be, of course James is gone, he's no longer with us, but he used to be an assistant superintendent, uh, some school superintendent. Then, there is uh, one of the southern girls, I believe it's probably Martin Lake Flash and that one of his girls. Then after this was over with, uh, I was going to take the screen down and take everything back home and I got kind of rough with it. And it looked like I tore it all pieces. I think when I got through with it, I took it home and threw it away and got me a better one. But this was after it. We got through with uh, showing all the pictures this time. There we go. Now I 
I've got it all together and I'm back at the home home here now anyway. So this is my new little puppy dog. This is Mandy Joe. She's always there waiting for me too, just like this is why she's wagging her tail on for this tail. She met me at the door every time I came in. Now here are some pictures that I took. Uh, I believe it was the Sunday that uh, Brother Larry was leaving. I believe it was the last Sunday that we preached for us. I know uh, we had a big crowd there. There's Charlie Blanchett. There's Ms. Larry. And there's the L.O. Reagan on the left there. There's L.O. Reagan. And there's Betty Bell up there in the corner. This was the Harlem Hunt. Yeah. Gary Kinks did us and Jack Whittington, boy Harold Whittington. And this is just a picture of a sign after we uh, had a new building built after the poor old wooden building down. There's Virgil Taylor. Here's Peggy and Jimmy Johnson. There's, I believe that was that ground girl. I'm not sure who that was. But there's Dee and her two boys, I believe. And then here's Marcia Lance. And uh, some of these are kind of dim and they're hard for me to recognize. Right off. I believe that's that low boy there. And then uh, there's Billy Williford. There's a... Uh, uh, Joe Reagan Brooks, one of the few pictures we had of him. There's Becky Tickell again when she was, look at how small old Sandra is. You can tell how long ago it was that we made these pictures. And there went R.D. Sterling and uh, there's a P.D. Page back there in the center. And there's B.D. again, she won the photo for me, so I took a picture. And here's Kim Mitchell and his wife. There. Children. There is a, now this is, uh, that's Ms. Robinson. This is where we had dinner on the ground. And uh, it was at uh, either a homecoming or the, or the Sunday that Brother Larry left. I don't remember which one. There's uh, Brother Kent. He was a long time member, of course, he's here no more. There's my mother, and there's Martha sitting beside her, and that's uh, Pat uh, Walker. There's a uh, Red Dow. And uh, here is Betty Dow, his wife, of course, Fred is a preacher in Missouri now, has a mission up there. And then, uh, I can't call his name, but there is Lucille Lance waving. And here, that's Lucille right there. And this is Miss Cup. Then that's Betty Dow again, and uh, that's Marcia Dow right there. There's Frank Stitch, Stitch there. He was a Sunday school teacher. Same class that we have now. He was teacher of this for a long time. And uh, right up before, there's Betty, not Betty, but Beth McClure, a long time ago. And there's uh, Earl Moore, there's Lucia Lance. And these pictures are going by as fast as far as me to call off their names. But uh, that boy's name was Benny, I believe. There's Miss Reagan, there's my mother right there in the foreground. And there's Lucille out there again with more seals. There's uh, L.O. Reagan and Sid Burke. There's Martha. These pictures made a long time ago. This boy used to help us uh, sing. That's L.O. Reagan. You may not remember him, but he was a long time member. He was a And And let it go sing still. Years ago. There's Earl and uh, Kathy. Earl Moore and Kathy. And here's Beatty again coming out of the church. There's Mark and Beatty together. Been friends for years and years. And there's Becky with Kathy. Now look how small Kathy is there. That was years and years ago. There's Charles and uh, uh, Oral Adams. One of the few pictures we have of Oral Adams. Of course, that's Peggy Johnson there. And Jimmy Johnson. And here's James Branham. Here's uh, Jimmy Ellis and one of his children. I don't remember which one. Then uh, there's that little cute girl, Miss Daly. There's uh, Bert Corden. That was uh, 
James Wooten, there goes Wendell Woolery. There's some Morris Corden in his line. There's a Mr. Stafford, I believe, or Mr. Foster, one or the other. And there was a steep pinch scale came out on the right. There's Eli May with one of the babies. There's that daily boy. He was going to make a preacher at one time. I don't know where he ever went to. Then uh, here's uh, uh, Bob Martin. That was here's Billy Williford. There's uh, Martha Wooten. Not Martha, but Mildred Wooten. And then uh, I don't remember that boy's name. There's Mick Sackler. There's Joe Johnson and Bill Johnson. Real good friends of ours for years and years. Pat Walters and her husband. And there's Eva May. There's Harold Whittington. That was that Stanley boy. And there's Martha and my mother. Martha was her back to us. Jimmy Johnson, they're fanning away the flies from the food because they had a little trouble with them. There's Brother Brown, one of the best preachers in the world. He was a wonderful friend of ours. There's Billy Joe Bear Hill on the left. And Miss Larry there in the center. Billy Joe Bear Hill, one of the best friends I ever had. And there's uh, Mildred uh, Wooten. And there's uh, Leslie. And uh, here is uh, Edith and Phil. There's Brother uh, Adams, not Adams, Lance. He was straight here at the church way back in that time. There's Lucy and Lance. Of course, most of them are gone now. They're no longer with us. Most, a lot of these people are gone. There's Beth again, smiling real pretty. And here's, uh, there's Jimmy on the right, and there's Brother Brown right there in the center again. And then here's my mother with her fried pies, and another fried pie. They just got fried pies. They were delicious. Then, uh, here are some of the young girls that was in the church at that time. Brother Larry was his place too, and that's Baby Dale, Baby Dale's wife. Brother Shepherd and Brother Hibbert. There's my mother and his uh, son, I believe, too, that he is. And Mr. Robinson, he's gone, of course. My brother's gone, and my son's gone, too. And then uh, there are Whittington and one of the hunt girls. There's Granny Blanche, has got a little dance with her. And uh, that's Leslie and Obila. This is Miss Hunt. There's one of the girls. That's Patsy Walters again. Here's Will Larry once more. Mildred Wooten, and here comes one of the... There goes Billy Joe. Very here. A real good friend of mine. I worked with him at the up. And of course he got elected. He's no longer here. There's Ralph Wooten, one of the few pictures we have of Ralph. There's Betty, not Betty, Beth McClure, and Jimmy Johnson. And then, uh, that's that orange boy, I believe. Bobby Orange. There's my mother and Miss Hunt. They're good friends. And his son stood back together. Then these pictures were made at another one of our. Uh, uh, class party. There's R.D. getting coffee ready. Uh, R.D. Sullins and there's E.M.A. Sullins and there's Tommy. You notice uh, a lot of them don't have dark black hair then. Now most of us you know have gray hair. They work for them with his grandchildren. There's Martha. Martha is getting some gray hair now. R.D. and uh, Blonde well, and there's <laughs> Edna Trumpton. Brother Brown, there's Elsie Walter, she's no longer with us. See, this is at a Christmas party, that's what it is. And of course, we always eat and then have a little program after Christmas. That is uh, uh, Susie Pearl that went by. She was a charter member of the church when it was established in 1918. And uh, Brother Brown with his coat, there's a uh, Well, I can't even think of half of his name right now, but that's Joe Johnson. I believe that was Jimmy Ellis right back there in the back. And then here's where they put the food out on the table, and uh, of course we always eat, and we have a little uh, 
program we have to repeat to give our presence. Joe Johnson again, there's Lowell when you were a little bit of that stuff. Joe's youngest son. Jack Mitchell. <coughs> Martha and Edna and Bonnie. There's our Christmas tree. Really decorated up. Got presents all in it. And there's the big long table of food again. Bondale and Tommy and Elsie and Jimmy and uh, Jack and uh, Opal, there's Bunny right there in the foreground. Jack on the right, Jack uh, Mitchell. And there's Lonnie Johnson, that little left handed boy there when he was real young. These pictures made a long, long time ago. Mm -hmm. Brother Brown brought the devotional that night. Or he's still eating, but he said that he got a slow start. Bert with his uh, grandchildren again. And R.D. and Brother Brown, I uh, thought there's something over there, going to show some slides. <clears throat> there's Zeta May. Lonnie's going to hand out the friend. Now look at that little left thing for that. That's it. Lonnie Johnson for me with a little kid. Elsie with a new apron. Bert, uh, Bert Carden with his new sweater. He was a Sunday school teacher and that was his present. Joe Johnson uh, showing somebody what her present was. And there's Brother Brown showing some slides he took. Showing the to R.D. That L.C. was her present. Martha sitting there beside her. Little kids of Bert Carter. There's Susan Pearl on the left. Brother Brown showing uh, some of the little kids some slides. And there's the cleanup crew, the dishwashers. They're taking care of things there to the event that was over with. Martha's going to help out here in just a minute. Just wait now, she'll show you how she can clean up those dishes. She's wiping that and cleaning. See, she got it. Now here we are up at uh, Blum. We are running around up there and we stopped there at Cafe and ran on to Brother Lee. A lot of you know who Brother Lee was, a lot of you don't know. He's not here with us any longer, of course he's gone. But he was up there in his old work clothes. And we met him and talked and had a good time together. That was uh, me and Martha and my mother. And here we are at the church again. There's Leslie Hunt. This is after the service was over with. Everybody is coming out and getting ready. That's even page. And getting ready to get in their cars and go home. Now there's the air tank still on the left there. And then that's Mr. Stocker. I believe right there with the head on. TV page right in the front. And I believe that was already there comes Jimmy Ellis. That's where the folks were right there. One of the hunt girls. And there's Brother Gant with his hat on there on the left. Brother Gant was in the church for a long, long time. And I believe that's Becky going right there. It just looks like Mildred Wooten with the right cap on. And that's those whirly kids. I couldn't think of them. I believe that's Beth again. I'm not sure if that's Beth or not. Harry Earl Moore. Here's Harold Whittington and his girlfriend. Leslie Hunt with his hat on. He always wore a hat. And there's Billy Joe, that good friend of mine. I was the best man at his wedding. We worked together a long time. He tried to get elected. Brother Brown, shaking hands with everybody. And that's that Stanley boy and uh, uh, Walter, I believe. And then Jerry Johnson. And 
Now here are some more pictures over to old building. As near as well as there's Mr. Ned Lance. Like I said, Mr. Lance was second treasurer at that time. He was a long time member there. And this is Mr. Ned's paper from I believe. Mr. Lance is no longer with us, of course, but he was in that church for years and years and years. And I could get that little girl's name is. Her brother uh, Crawford and Miss Crawford, real good picture of them. There is Blindell, Brother Crawford, and the two boys of Brother Crawford. And I believe that's North and Bonnie right there. This is Cat Payne. I couldn't think of the name for a long time. And there is uh, Roy Crompton and Blondell and, and I can't remember that man's and woman's name right there, but I know it real you know, well. They were members of our church for a long time. That's Ms. Adams, I believe, right there. And then, uh, I believe that's Ms. Smith. Not real sure about that. There's the detail. Look how young they are. That's the whole bunch right there. And I don't remember who that is going across there. That's uh, Mr. and Ms. Williams, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't remember his name. I believe it's Mitchell. I believe that's Mr. Mitchell. Then here is uh, Cotton Rogers and uh, Daisy. They were long time members of our West Coast uh, Church, so she's gone now. And this is at the uh, Arnold boy. And there is uh, a picture I believe. I don't know who that is. I start to say, but I don't really know who that is. And I can't remember. There is a civil thing still. Now that's a good picture of civil quite a while ago. Here is uh, Moore's wife again. But I think this is another one of their little babies. And there's Lanyard, he grew up and it wasn't long until he started preaching. There's, uh, I believe that was his little brother. There's uh, Gary Tinkstill and his little girl. And that is Brother Crawford, a good picture of Brother Crawford. Martha talking to Pat uh, Walters. There's Jill Burks and uh, Orville Adams. One of the few pictures we have of those two. Jill Burks and there's Mr. Robinson talking to him. And that's Gary on the left with uh, David's wife there hanging the little, with the little girl to him. And here's a picture that when they're all coming out, after the service is over, everybody's getting ready to get in their cars and go home now. I can't see who that is right there. That was Brother, uh, well, I can't call his name. And that's one of the sewer boys right there. That's his brother, if I'm not mistaken. And, and the Margaret McClure, a real good friend and a long time member of the church. She's still in our Sunday school class. And that's Joyce Williams with a little lady. One of her children. I, I don't know which one. And Brother Williams. I believe that was Peter's uh, daddy. And I believe that's that David boy down there. And of course, that's Mr. Gant there with his head on in his Bible. And that was out of written in the Bible. And I believe that's the old Burks again right there. Talking to old Adams, I believe. And uh, Todd Moe Hunter. And then Mary Leslie Hunt was one of the little, little bitty children of his. Bill Johnson, on the right as he went by, there's uh, Mildred, uh, I mean, either Pink Scales, and her little girl. 